Let's have a look at the themes so that we can set our colors and our fonts how we want them. First of all, let me just explain in a previous video where we clicked down and we looked at text, it looked like all the theme text was missing. However, it's because all of the theme text is actually colored white. So if you are going to have a fairly dark background or a fairly dark website, then it's a good idea to have light text. So how we would change this is by clicking over on this icon, which is called Site Styles. And you can see here that all of this has been filled out, but it's in the white color. So if we wanted to change that, we'd click on the icon go completely over to the right and pick the color you want it to be. Press apply. Now you'll see that everything that has the H1, which normally is the heading, applied to it is now in black. Okay, so we can go ahead and do that with everything if we wanted. And now everything that has H2 which would be the subheadings, which may not be on this page, this particular template that we chose to work with. Select the size and whether or not it should be bold or italic. And make sure when you do this that you check your branding principles to make sure that the font makes sense and it fits in with the style, the general feel of what you want your brand to look like. Now, you may not use all of these fonts, but Wix does give you the option to have quite a few. Okay, so now that that's done, what you can also do is click on the second tab down for colors and choose the colors that are going to suit your brand. So the background and text, we've got a range of blacks. For actions, which would be links, when people go to sign up on your website, if they're going to create an account to become a member. So action kind of features on your website, that's what these colors will relate to. And other colors that you are going to want in your palette that relate to your business. So let's say we're going to stick with the blues. Let's maybe get rid of this purple and make it a red. Make sure you press apply. And what other color that you would like in your website? Make sure you press apply. So maybe these are going to be the colors that we're going to play with in this program. Page transitions. At the moment, there is no transition, but you can have when people flick from one page to another, a, a fancy in and out transition. Generally, I keep all of mine just with no transition whatsoever. Now that the theme has been set, what it means, let's say and we was going to change this button. So you may have to click it three times because it seems like it's included in a stack. If you wanted to change the background color, you would click over here. And now we have those colors readily available. It doesn't mean that you only have to stick with these colors. You can add more colors. So if you scroll down, it does give you a range of colors. But if you wanted this particular button to be a color outside of your palette, then you'd press add and you'd simply find that color. Press apply. And as you can see, it's changed it. And it will also add it down here in the extra colors. OK, but if you did just want it to be the color of your palette, it's there now. Happy with that button? That's what you would do. Now, we will be changing the background of this, so don't worry about it being black. We're going to make the website a lot lighter and the elements darker, whereas this particular website has a dark background with lighter elements.